Namaste and welcome to Hindu Temple of Minnesota. I am Arun Hargo. I organize the discourses and lectures. And since COVID time, we have been doing it online. But today, we are having it in person. And if anyone interested in joining our events on the discourses, etc., they can you know give me the email. We send once a week email. And today is a special day. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome Ms. Anandita Basu, an accomplished and distinguished singer and a Sahaj Yoga meditator among us, to bless us with divine music and uplift our minds with some Sahaj Yoga meditation. Now I'll invite Sri Jitendra Patpatiya to tell us more about our distinguished guest and uh, Sahaj Yoga meditation program. And I will request our audience to silence their phone during the event. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. We welcome you all uh, to this uh, wonderful event. This uh, event has been uh, organized uh, because uh, our Guru, uh, Shamataji Nirmala Devi, uh, it is her 100th birthday. So as a part of that uh, celebration, we have uh, programs in over 150 countries which uh, are honoring her, her and her work. Uh, and as a part of that, uh, Anindita Basuji is uh, traveling the globe. She is uh, going to travel throughout and uh, happens to stop by in Minnesota. Uh, Sahaj Yoga uh, is uh, a form of uh, meditation which was uh, started, as I said, by Shumadaji Nirmala Devi. Uh, she started it in 1970 and uh, it has been uh, practiced, as I said, in over 150 countries now. Uh, and the uh, practitioners have been uh, enjoying the blessings of uh, this divine form of meditation. It is the, Sahaja Yoga is the spontaneous, it is the Sahaj means spontaneous in Sanskrit. It is the spontaneous awakening of our divine energy, which we call the Kundalini, which rises through the seven chakras that we have and it pierces through our fontanel bone and gives us our Atma Sakshatka, which is self-realization. So that is the ultimate desire that we have in all of us as human beings to get to that state. And it can be achieved spontaneously if uh, there is a person who is uh, the guru is capable of giving that. And if our own instrument, the chakras and the nadis are ready for that. So, and Shri always emphasized the importance of music, the seven suras which are, which are represented in our seven chakras and how they benefit and, uh, and help us in opening our chakras. So uh, uh, Anandita ji is, uh, is a practitioner of Sahaja Yoga. She started practicing at a very young age in 1989 and she's been practicing and spreading the joy. And uh, as Sri Mataji uh, said, music is, the, is one of the keys that helps us get to the state of meditation. She's been uh, a real value uh, in terms of, she's added a real value in terms of, okay, how do we do it? And it is all practical, it is something that will be uh, demonstrated hopefully today. Um, so now let me introduce her as an accomplished singer. She started uh, her uh, uh, journey in, uh, uh, in the field of music at the tender age of four. Uh, her guru was her own mother, uh, Srimati Anjana Basu, who uh, initiated her and she's been practicing ever since. And she's traveled, uh, performed in over 40, 40 countries. And uh, uh, she's been teaching in South America as a professor of music and has all the possible qualifications that you can imagine in terms of uh, Indian classical and semi-classical music. So, uh, 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 I welcome Sri uh, Anandita, Shrimati Anandita Basu. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> and uh, accompanying her uh, is uh, uh, our own uh, Sri uh, Abhinav Sharma. Uh, he is uh, uh, very, very big asset for Minnesota because uh, he's one of the accomplished tabla players who's been practicing since, uh, I think, for the last 19 years. 
And <laughs> so, uh, and uh, like most of us uh, in the Twin Cities, he is he's also an IT professional. <laughs> and uh, 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 his uh, guru uh, uh, was uh, uh, Mr. Anand, uh, Anandil, Anandil, Anandil Chatterjee. And now in uh, the Twin Cities, he learns from uh, Dr. Pavan. So let us give uh, a round of applause to everyone who And with this, I hand it over to the capable hands of Anindita Ji, who will walk us through this journey of how meditation and music go hand in hand and take us deeper. Thank you very much. Sabiko uh, Namaskar. And a very warm welcome to all of you who have joined with us to celebrate the 100 years of Srimadhiji's birthday. I'm very uh, fortunate to represent a little bit of our culture of India here in Minnesota in such a beautiful temple. Uh, when we were coming, we saw a little bit of the decoration and I was like, well, this is like India. I don't feel I'm in US. So uh, thank you for that, it's so beautiful here. And uh, today we all would like to, like Baya said, the whole intention of this program is to go a little bit more inside and to see, you know, to face ourselves in a way that our attention is more towards ourselves, to knowing what are we inside, you know. Um, because I'm sure outside we all have our own uh, life, our personalities, but if we are not okay inside, then it is never um, a balanced life. It is never something which we can accomplish just by having things outside. So I hope you all will enjoy it. And uh, I will start with, uh, as most of us know, that. Uh, we always start with the one who symbolizes the auspiciousness, uh, Shri Ganesha. So I'm going to start uh, praising him. Uh, and also Mother Kundalini, she is in our sacred bone. We will talk about it. So she is like the mother we have inside us. So I will start with their Vandana. Thank you so much. Please bless me also. Ganesha 
<laughs> at the ground. So we, as human beings, we do think a lot. Either we think in the past or we think in the future. So it's always a continuous process of mind's work. Right? Do you agree? Yeah. So, when we think so much, we forget to live the present moment of our life, which is right now. Because in the present, there cannot be any thoughts, because you are living it. But how to have that developed inside us, that it becomes a normal practice, that, you know, we don't have to go so much, always like a pendulum, past, future, past, future. We cannot do that just by having a mental projection, because again, that is thinking. So, Sri Mataji found a very simple and a beautiful way of how to achieve a state of balance within. Wherein, of course, you can be yourself how you are, but also have a little bit of balance, a peace, like, you know, peace for real. It is not a peace which politicians talks about and nothing works out. It is a peace which is within us. Every human being, we have it. But we forget to practice that. Because maybe we are not told from the beginning that peace is actually something natural and normal rather than fighting and hating others. So, how to develop that in an automatic way inside is when Sahaja Yoga comes in. For me personally, after doing the meditation and after understanding whatever little understanding I have about Sahaja Yoga, is that when we are connected with the source that has created us, which is inside us, we all know that we are energies. But how to have that energy pumped up with positivity, with you know, real knowledge, with real happening inside. So once we are able to connect ourselves within, then only how we will be able to understand our inner being. It has to be an automatic process. It cannot be from outside. Because if everything was possible outside, then why we have so much war, why we have so much, you know, uh, displeasing each other all the time. So, today's invitation for all of you is to have an experiment like a scientist with an open mind to see if, you know, the spirituality, the word spirituality is something within. And it can be very powerful if you really connect with it from inside. However bhakti we have with any deity or anyone you wish to, if we don't understand that how we can actually connect with that, it has no meaning. Because God is not looking for our, you know, anything from us. God is God, like energy is energy. We need. But what is to follow God or what is to follow someone? Is that we try to imbibe their qualities in our life. It is not just, you know, saying it, but actually something has to happen inside, yeah? So, uh, the next song is a beautiful composition which says Saint Kabira. You all know about Kabira? Yes. Saint Kabira has said that we can achieve self-realization if we have a little bit of patience. We can achieve that, you know, my heart goes to this bhakti, to this devotion of knowing myself. And I have traveled all around singing the praise and then finally I found it. So this is how the composition is. Hope you all will enjoy. Thank you.
Hi. Uh -huh.
so, कुछ और भजन आप सुनना पसंद करेंगे Would you like to hear some more bhajans? Yes. Yes, okay. So, uh, before maybe I sing, we can also sing something together, uh, whatever you are more comfortable with. But before that, I would request you all to have this five minutes of experience to go inside and to feel and see for yourself if what we are saying is true or not. Why you should listen, why you will believe what I'm saying. You have to see for yourself if it works or not. Right? Because neither I'm promoting some kind of company to you know all of you. It is just that you know we have got so much benefits out of it that we just want to share this with all of you. So we have inside ourselves this power known as Mother Kundalini. She is in the sacrum bone, you can see on the chart. knowledge in India, but we never pay attention to it. So we have this energy called Kundalini, and when it rises through our central nervous system, we can actually feel the connection with our spirit and with the one who has created everything. Unless and until we have the connection established within, we will never be able to understand and have a full connection with our being. Mother Kundalini passes through six chakras because the first chakra is below Mother Kundalini, is the Mool Aadhar, which is Mool Aadhar, the place of Shri Ganesha. We have mantra, but we don't know the real meaning of it, how it is actually helping or affecting us inside. So when we are connected, then only the real connection and the real meaning of the mantra or real bhakti will actually come. And why we need to have that? Because without knowing ourselves, we cannot know God. Without having connection with ourselves, whatever bhakti, mala, fool, whatever you do, it is something very bahariya, outside. So let us give this moment to ourselves for five minutes to get connected with our being. Another thing very important is that you know meditation is never possible without having the connection established within us. Before our self-realization, whatever we do, it is just a ritual, it is just a way of outside way of showing our devotion. Okay? When we will be connected, then Meditation can start. Many people does yoga, asanas, all these things without understanding the meaning, what is the goal? Goal is to have our param, self-realization. Sri Mataji, she converted it in the opposite direction for the world to help. She first gave us our self-realization and then she said, let's work it out now. Uh, I would request the children to please now uh, sit down because we will have the realization. Hello. So, we have this beautiful power, beautiful energy and we are going to get connected with it. Are you able to understand me, what I'm saying? Yes. Or it's too gone, like too vague? No? It's okay? Yes? Okay, good. So why I'm explaining you this, so that you understand that this is not like, you know, uh, I'm not any Baba or Mama who is trying to teach you something. I'm just sharing you our experience in life. Shri has turned it, so you don't need to go to Himalayas anymore. You don't need to, you know, stand on your head to achieve what you want to achieve. You can be what you are, you can lead a normal life which you are, which you are having, you can, you can have your profession as it is. You don't have to leave anything outside, but you have to change your inside. And inside change is only possible when you have the light to see what you have to change. Without having self-realization, you cannot have the light to understand what you are, right? It's like, you know, when we try to seek something, we can't find it. We can see through. So Mother Kundalini is like a mother. She takes care of us. 
generations after generations. And once we are connected with her, she just, you know, slowly, slowly expands. So let us have this experience and see for ourselves if you can feel her inside you. Okay? All good? Yes. Would you like to? Yes. Because it's not going to work if I say, you know, it has to be your own desire. So only if you want, we will do it. So those who want to do it, you can please, if you would like, you can just take off your shoes to have the connection with Mother Earth. If you are not too cold, if you are very cold, it's okay. You can be as you are. Don't worry about it. So what we are going to do is, we are going to open our both hands like this, just to have, you know, to feel it. Because the manifestation of our spirit, of our being, comes through our, you know, on our hands and above our head. <clears throat> so first of all, we are going to work a little bit on our nervous system. We are going to put our right hand in our heart. Very nice. Then we are going to put our right hand in our forehead. Everything is with the right hand, okay? Right hand. Left hand is on our lap. Don't use the left hand right now. And in the end, we are going to open our right hand and put it on the center of our head. Yeah, and put pressure and move the scalp of our head in a clockwise direction. Right hand. Right. Yes. This is open here. Left is open. Yes. This is all we are going to do. But do it with your sincerity. Do it with full attention and with full heart. Because this is something which is inside, okay? It's not going to work outside showing off something. So let us close our eyes. And if you feel like taking out your specs, and just relax, you know, let's give this moment to ourselves. Take a deep breath. Let's make a desire inside that, yes, I would like to know my own self. I would like to feel the energy within. Let us put our right hand in our heart. And here we are going to say inside, I am the pure spirit. 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 And as I am the pure spirit, I don't have any guilty. God, energy, you can call as you wish. Please give me the pure knowledge of divine. Please give me the pure knowledge of divine. Let me feel the real peace and love inside. Now let us put our right hand on our forehead and we can bend down towards Mother Earth. Here we are going to say, I forgive everyone and I forgive myself. I forgive everyone and I forgive myself.
I forgive everyone and I forgive myself. Now we will open our right hand tight and put the center of the palm on the top of our head, putting pressure and move the skull of our head in a clockwise direction. And here we are going to say Shri Mataji Mother, please give me my self-realization. Shri Mataji, please give me my self-realization. We have to ask it with full heart, with the desire that yes, I also want to feel myself, I want to be connected to my energy. Shri Mataji, please give me my self-realization. Mother, Please give me my self-realization. Now please bring down your hands. Keep your both hands open on your lap. Close your eyes. Have your full attention in the center of your head, where was the hand before? And just let's stay for some time. Just be here.
Mother Kundalini responding. And this is actually the first encounter with the truth. So now, every day, when you will meditate for five or ten minutes, whenever you have time, this Mother Energy, the Kundalini, you know, only a few strings have raised today. She will slowly, slowly expand this nervous system and you will feel more and more and more why we should meditate after self-realization, because the more we will meditate inside, the more we will establish our peace, our love, our balance inside. So, you know, there is a very beautiful way of explanation in, in our Vedas in India, which says, detachment is not that you leave everything and you wear, you know, suffering clothes or something and you become some spiritual guru. It is not possible like that. It is an inside happening which has to happen. So detachment is something that you can have everything but you are completely detached, like Sri Krishna was. Like our examples of the past was, like Sri Mataji was. So we have to develop and understand the things which is already there after our self-realization to actually be able to grasp that inside, yeah? So, if you would all like, we can sing together one or two songs, maybe more. Would you like that? Yes. yes. Okay. Wow, that's a very nice yes. The rest all are either tired or sleeping. No? <laughs> I'm just joking. So, maybe we can have some sajugis of this area on the stage. And we can all sing together. Would you, what kind, what version you would like to listen? What would you like to listen? Prabhupati. Okay. You mean Shri Rama. Okay. So we will start uh, with Shri Krishna and Shri Rama together, if you would like. And then maybe, like he said, I will sing maybe two, three lines of that. Ah, mere saath aaye na. You all can sing together. Ha ha.
Ingala Pingala or Sushumna Nadia that Sri Kabira has described. Ingala practiced uh, uh, by a, a very small group of us um, and uh, what we do is we have online classes especially after um, the uh, COVID pandemic we've started online classes which you can attend uh, the details of them are on the pamphlets over there you can use that and connect with us uh, we've got meetups uh, which will link you up to uh, when the sessions are held and would love to have you walk through this. This journey has just begun. So as uh, Anandita ji just explained to us, uh, the, the Kundalini has just awakened. So the slight experience that we had, where we could feel the coolness or you know the sensation, whatever, because initially it is very hard to describe what we individually felt. But when we start feeling those, sorry, there's an echo. Uh, when we start feeling that, the main thing is to get it established within us. That is where the transformation, the relaxation, the joy starts manifesting itself. So for that, it is always good to kind of start uh, on a regular basis. As uh, she mentioned, spend five or ten minutes. That's all that it takes to go inside us. This is the time that we should afford ourselves and uh, meaning we will keep going and earning things, we will keep spend, you know, improving in our career and in the end it will be like, okay, what did I actually get? The relaxation, the joy, all that has to, can you hear me, I'm sorry. Uh, the relaxation and the joy is very important and that is what gets established once you practice uh, so uh, the request to everyone is to uh, the, the small uh, uh, UV code, right? Yeah, so it is, uh, the bookmark has a UV code. Please, uh, you know, share your details on that. And, uh, you know, we'll reach out to you and uh, you're more than welcome to join any classes. Again, uh, it goes without saying. There is nothing here. It is for your own development. Uh, we do it uh, from our hearts. 
and that's what uh, you will also also start doing. It's once a week. It's once a week. We have uh, two or three sessions. You could attend any of those. Right. So, and uh, we will explain the chakras in, in detail. What Muladhara uh, chakra means. All that knowledge is immense. But the thing is, the most important thing is the experience and the transformation. Everything else is theoretic. You know, knowing about the, you can read it in books. Those are, that is not important. The main thing is, is it, am I getting that experience? Am I getting the joy? Am I getting the balance? Once you are able to get to that point where you start enjoying, you start transforming, you start changing, that is the, the start of the journey. But this is a big step that uh, we were able to, for the first time, feel this energy from within. It's a very big step, but to establish that, this is it. Any questions, uh, you know, we can all answer, anybody can answer.
Thank you. Thank you very much. So before we conclude uh, today's program with one, maybe one last song where we all can sing together. Yeah. So um, I would like you to just check how you're feeling. Yeah. Can you all please open your hands and see the energy flow which is inside you? Because we are nothing but energies. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, new people, new students. Hello there. Namaste. So you can just open your hands. Just close your eyes. Breathe in. And you just ask your energy which is inside you. That dear energy, please give me my self-realization. Please let me feel and get established within my spirit. <clears throat> Mother, please give me my self-realization. Mother, please give me my self-realization. Now please check on your both hands. You can open your eyes. See, can you feel some energy flow? Just check. You can also check on the top of your head. Yeah. You see if you can feel some kind of hot or cool. Those who want to, okay? If you are not interested, don't worry about it. Yeah. And then check with your left hand, please. Now check your gravitational pull. Those who have just joined us, you might be feeling very hot, like something, or like, you know, maybe you're feeling a bit more calm. Whatever you're feeling, this is the manifestation of our spirit. So as we have some new people, so this is, we are talking about Sahaja Yoga. Sahaja means born with us an energy which is inside us, yoga means union with God, union with our being. And the real meaning of yoga is actually getting inside connection with our being. How to achieve it? Through Sahaja Yoga. Because Sahaja Yoga is the only process of self-realization, which starts with self-realization, which is the prime, you know. <laughs> so then, when you are established in that, then when you meditate, when you do other things, you have more understanding inside because you have that light coming in through the Sahasra. So you all are welcome to try it out. You're welcome to give it an experiment for a month or two and see for yourself if it makes a difference or not. Okay? Uh, you don't have to believe what I'm saying, but you have to definitely try out like a scientist. So the last song for all of you, you can all clap and we can sing together. Done? And I thank you all for joining today. Uh, those of you who are interested, we have a very small humble gift, a written gift for you, because we are celebrating 100 years of Shimadati's birthday on earth. So it's a very small, humble uh, CD for all of you of mine, if you have a CD player still. And, uh, and if you're interested only, you please take your written gift with you. And thank you to the Mandir and organizers and all of us uh, for inviting us here and also Sahaja Yoga for organizing all these things. Thank you so much. Let's give a big hand to Abhinavji <laughs> and all the dear students who are learning Indian music and you know, they're trying also and slowly they will come up more. Please give them a big hand also.
Mataji was a personality who was so joyful. She was so amazingly glamorous in a way that she's so pure and authentic. There is nothing more rewarding than being authentic. So if you feel like, please, you can clap or sing or dance as you feel. Oh. Thank you. 